Now the sole purpose of the power bins is to keep you organized and to maximize your productivity. Power bins allows you to use any media that we put in them throughout all of our projects within a database. They only stay consistent within one database. Quick pause here, if you are creative and you need any video assets like stock footage, graphics, sound effects, templates for Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, you can check rlist.io or Motion Array. Follow my links in the description to get two months free. So for example, these two different databases, this is for my YouTube channel and this is for a YouTube channel I've been working on. The power bins that I've created for this database for my YouTube channel will stay consistent in all of these folders and all of these projects. So let's open up one of these. You will see the power bins here on the left. If you don't see it, you go here in these three dots and simply select power bins. My previous video is on smart bins, so you're free to check that out as well. If you want to create a new folders, you can simply add a new bin. I already have created some bins for my graphics, for my music. And now we have this new folder here. If you wanna add new stuff, we can do it either from our media pool here, we simply drag and drop, or from here. You can even drag and drop media from your timeline. Just uh, simply select the clip. Maybe you're going to be using it for different projects or whatever, so you need this clip. You just drag and drop it and you have this clip. The good thing here is, for example, if I added a certain effect to this clip. Let's delete this one and let's drag and drop this one. Let's open different project. It keeps the effect that we've added. So not only you can drag and drop clips from your timeline, but if they have some speed ramping or effects applied to it, it keeps them. Things that you cannot add to your power bins, compound clips, timelines, and fusion clips. As you can see that the benefits that it will bring to your productivity are a lot. So I highly recommend you to use them, but I also suggest you using the smart bins as well. Check this video out to see how they can be beneficial to your workflow.